Welcome to Switch Comics. My name is Marco, and today we are taking another look at facsimiles and reprints. If you are unfamiliar with what facsimiles are, they are basically a, a near identical uh, reprint of a comic. And so typically, this would be for a book that is very expensive, out of reach, you know, and you want for yourself a version of that book without spending thousands and thousands of dollars on it. So you get yourself a reprint, you know, they, they print them back up, and you, you know, nowadays they're like three ninety nine usually when they come out, and they'll have the original ads in it and everything. It is very, very close with very, usually very minor differences, uh, sometimes easier to spot than others. So, and we'll be going over that. Uh, some other reprints exist, for like example, the True Believers. I think, in which the True Believers have the big True Believers, you know, logo right over the top. And those I believe are, um, I'm pretty sure they're thinner and they only they don't have the ads and stuff in them. Um, and I, it's been a while since I actually looked at a True Believer, but I, I I do recall them being thinner books, and I think it's just because they removed the ads. Um, but then uh, yeah, so there's different reasons to purchase you know these books, but it's important to notice uh, when you are trying to buy the expensive one that you actually are buying the expensive one. Which it can be very easy to do when you're buying something that's supposed to be an older book. You know, if you're buying a, um, you know, an X Men one, for example, and it's very easy to tell the difference in in uh, paper quality, uh, in the ink, and all that kind of stuff. It's very easy to see. Uh, with an older book like X Men one, you wouldn't expect to see a super pristine copy. You know, a nine eight candidate. So if you were to see something like that, it would be a little fishy. Um, however, when you're moving into the more modern grails, uh, it can be, you know, you're printing on very similar paper, similar ink, you know, and, and you wouldn't, it, it would be exceptional, but it, it wouldn't be crazy to find a 9-8 candidate for one of these books. You know, it's definitely much more possible than finding an X-Men 1 at a 9-8. Um, but again, so it just comes down to knowing these little things to pay attention to while you're out shopping, whether it's online or in person. Uh, now, obviously, in person is a little bit um, easier. I feel like a lot of people kind of fall um, when it when it comes to online. You just have this mentality of I'm, you know, ordering the thing that I should be ordering. I guess I don't, I don't know. I don't exactly know what that is, but there's a lot of people that like to get scammed online very easily, I guess is the best way to put it. So to start off, we're going to talk about Ultimate Fallout 4. I've talked about it before on the channel, but again, it's always good to put this knowledge out there in case someone else hasn't seen that video. With Ultimate Fallout 4, you have the first print and you have the facsimile. And with the first printing, um, you're going to notice that the barcode is a little pushed aside, not touching the the corner of the book there well if you look at the facsimile the barcode is all the way to the corner of the book so that's one easy way to notice there's another one and if you catch either way if you catch both ways it doesn't matter as long as you catch some way so it's worth noting everything uh, because again both of these books are 399 so for example if i'm looking at a facsimile of x-men one if i see a 399 uh, price tag on it i know that's the new one very easily you know what i mean um and if I'm looking at this book, that doesn't really help me out. So looking at the barcode, but also if you look up right under the Ultimate Follow logo, there is the uh, Marvel logo there. And on the facsimile, it is printed in red, while the first printing is printed in gray. So that is definitely, um, again, another pretty easy way to stand out right there. Uh, those are the two big indicators. Now, granted, you could also do other things like reading the barcode. Some people know how to read barcodes. Some people don't. It's fairly simple. Um, but I think that's, you know, if, if I'm searching to buy this book on eBay, I'm not going to be going around looking at the barcodes. It's so much easier to look for either the red Marvel logo or the barcode being pushed to the corner. Um, another book more recently that I have kind of talked about a little bit on the channel, I, I mentioned it in one of the Know Your Keys episode because I tricked, uh, who was that, Brian from LCS, I tricked him uh, <laughs> into blowing a bunch of money on it, Phys not, not physical money, but uh, imaginary money. <laughs> um, but anyway, with, with this book, and also, I guess I, I do want to mention real quick before we get to it, Ultimate Fallout 4, the second printing, watch out for that much easier to notice his head is peeking out you know 
from under the the logo. So uh, there's also no Marvel logo on that one as well. But the his head being shown is is the, the much easier one to notice on that. But you know I've seen people almost buy a second printing thinking it is a first printing, which is still a good book you know in, in any regard. But you know it is. Um, Definitely don't want to be spending big, 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 big money on that one. <laughs> don't want to be spending first print money on a second print. So uh, with uh, Edge of Spider-Verse 2, uh, first appearance of uh, uh, Gwynnum. Not Gwynnum. Uh, Gwynpool. No. Spider-Gwyn. There we go. I got it eventually. Uh, <laughs> there's too many Gwyns out there. Um, the big thing here that you're going to be looking for is the bonus digital coupon. And it's a huge thing right at the bottom. Uh, if you actually are looking at it... Um, it, it just won't be there on the facsimile because, obviously, this was offered during the original printing and then they, there was no need to offer the bonus digital edition again. But also, I you know, it definitely helps to uh, be an identifier for, for this type of thing. I'm sure when they are creating facsimiles, uh, you know, like with the Ultimate Fallout 4, they wanted to make sure that there are ways to tell while being so close that you can still have that book and appreciate it. And for example, I know a lot of people don't like the True Believers because of the big True Believers uh, logo up at the top of the book. It, it kind of ruins it. Or like the Milestone reprints. I don't like those at all. I think they're kind of goofy looking. But now granted, they're very clearly reprints. They're very easy to tell. So um, it's... Uh, <laughs> you kind of have to give and take. I know some people are really against facsimiles. Me, myself... I don't mind them. I think it kind of falls to the buyer to be educated. So if you're out there getting scammed, just you have to learn more. If you're going to be spending big money, you have to make sure you're buying the right thing. Um, and I think that just kind of goes with life, you know. <laughs> I don't. Uh, and but at the same time, I think facsimile should be offered to people. You know, I think it's great for people that don't have hundreds or thousands of dollars to spend on a book to be like ah i i got some version of this book and i love this book and it it looks so close that you know you, you, it, it feels like i have the real thing um so moving on i did want to talk about one other thing and it wasn't really facsimiles but there are other reprints that um sometimes can it kind of trick you if you're not paying attention i have one example here that isn't exactly the same it's not like a like the ultimate fallout 4 or the, the you know spider gwen it's not a facsimile um it, it if you're looking at them side by side they actually are very different but even me myself i got i got pretty excited one time somebody brought in a collection and i'm looking through it and it's a bunch of garbage books and then i pull out this book and i'm like whoa silver surfer number one awesome and i start you know start kind of looking at prices of Silver Surfer, and then it clicked on me. I think, you know, you get excited, and you're like, yes, we're going to get a cool book. And and you're hoping, uh, you know, hoping you got something good. And then I started looking at it, and I'm like, wait a minute. It looks a little off. And that's, <laughs> I'll throw up the Silver Surfer one now. What I was originally looking at was a Marvel Masterpieces reprint. Um, and again, obviously, the cover is made to look very, very similar to the actual Silver Surfer number one, um, but has huge differences. Uh, and then obviously the big thing, when I really looked at it and saw that it said Marvel Masterpieces, um, that's when I knew. So be careful for other types of reprints as well. I think a lot of people focus on the facsimiles, and there's definitely more scams and stuff like that, because there are scams. I know there's scams going on uh, that are you know targeting people that just want to buy specifically more modern books but um you know i wouldn't be surprised if i i don't know if you would get scammed more so on the internet with a book like this marvel masterpieces but i i could see this like maybe at a con if uh Somebody was like, how much, you, you know, if, if you go up to a booth, how much for that silver surfer one? I've been looking for that book, no, you know, and you you think you can scam somebody, which, you know, you never know what booth is going to maybe, you know, be a little scummy. You don't hope for it, but, you know, it, it, you got to be careful out there. So with um, with that, you know, if, if you kind of gave a little bit of a tell, maybe like, oh, uh, 
yeah, this is a Silver Surfer number one, you know? Um, so they, they might might try to scam you. You know, obviously, you could have good people to be like, oh, no, this is, you know, this is a Marvel Masterpieces. Uh, it's, it's still a really good book, really cool book, um, but not the big, big book. And it's fine as long as you buy, if you buy that book knowing what it is and, you know, at the right price. But definitely be, don't be spending Silver Surfer 1 money on a Marvel Masterpieces reprint. So uh, there's definitely a lot more examples that I could give. And I just want to throw this one out here because uh, it is one that I personally um, at least fell for for a minute, you know. It, it took me a little bit and then I started looking at it. And because at, at first glance, you know, if I have, Silver Surfer 1 isn't a book you see very often, you know. And... Uh, and when I first looked at it, and I'm just like, yes, yeah, sweet. And again, I'm thumbing through a box. I'm kind of hoping to find something cool. Uh, and that's just kind of how it is when you're buying comics. I can't tell you how many times um, somebody will bring in a collection, and I'm going through, going through, going through, garbage, 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 worthless books. And then, wow, you know, Ultimate Fallout 4, first print. You know, that happened actually recently. Just boxes of worthless comics. And there is a pristine Ultimate Fallout 4 sitting in there. Um, or, you know, wh whatever, um, even one time we bought a nice collection and we, we knew it had a bunch of good books in it and, you know, we're thumbing through, thumbing through, and then we find a, a giant size X-Men, you know, that we had no idea was in there. And so, uh, you know, it's, it's part of it. You want to find something cool in there. Um, but just be careful, be mindful. And um, obviously, I was able to. I didn't buy that book as if it was a Silver Surfer one. I would have been in a lot of trouble. Uh, <laughs> but uh, but yeah, it, it, if you get excited, I guess with anything, just taper back and just make sure you know what you're getting. But that's gonna be it though for today. Thank you all so much for watching. Be safe out there, and I'll see you next time. <sighs> Ha, 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 ha.